Hello, everybody. Start to say good morning, but I guess I really should say good afternoon. <laughs> this is Friday, and it's 1.59 p.m., so right at 2 o'clock. I just ate my breakfast. Because I slept at 12-something. Because I was up all night long last night. I could not get sleepy and go to sleep. I stayed up late and did a lot of stuff in here. Then I went in the living room and sat and read. And then because Junior kept getting up because I wasn't in there, I finally, when I went and tucked him in the last time, stayed in my bedroom, sat on the side of the bed, and used a flashlight and read my book because I still wasn't sleepy. And that was around 5 o'clock this morning, I believe. So... Uh, <sighs> sorry, I have a slight headache. I should take some Tylenol. I ate breakfast and took all my medicine. I didn't take no Tylenol though, but now I'm getting a headache. Um, <clears throat> watching some videos. Elizabeth had to get up this morning at five o'clock and go to work. So. Around that same time, she was getting up, started getting up. Matter of fact, I heard her alarm go off while I was sitting in the living room getting a reading. And then while she was getting up and getting ready is when I cut the lights out and come to my room, took Junior in, sat on the side of the bed and read, read with a flashlight. Uh, so she's still at work. She ain't got home yet. Oh. I don't know what time she'll come in. Albert and Benny's outside. They have been pressure washing the outside of the house and the patio out here and the doors and cleaning up and moving things and straightening up. Getting things already out there. The, uh, yesterday they took a bunch of junk because we had stuff like an old fireplace, a couple of old refrigerators and you know, just junk like that that wasn't working anymore and it was just out there. He found a place that took old stuff like that and he went and took it to it. And they bought it all from him. So, he's still getting things done along. He's still got to finish this closet in here, but he wanted to do some outside work. That's how he does. He gets bored with something. And he won't finish it. He'll go to the next thing and then he'll come back to this. Anyway. Um. I want to ask y'all something. <clears throat> Let me. I got a headache. Let me swallow my medicine. And yes, when they're big long pills, I break them in half. So excuse me. I have always had a problem. I used to, I mean, even as an adult, when my girls were little, when I had my teeth, I would use to crunch, you know, purity eat the pill. Just use my teeth and break it. And before that, I would use a knife and cut it up. Or I used to get pill cutters. I used to get pill choppers where it chopped it up into purity, just all powder. Well, I don't know. One day not too long ago, when we was in Tennessee, I don't know, it just hit me. Some of the real little bitty ones, I just looked at it and decided I can swallow that hoe and get down with it. So that's what I've been doing with the small ones. But on the long one, I have to break it in half. Now the capsules, I pull them apart and put the beads or powder in my mouth. Dunner, he was sleeping good. What'd you get up for? Anyway, I want to ask y'all. How many of y'all out there had stories told to y'all as kids? What I mean by stories is like not a book reading to you and not a story like a lie. But, you know, kids' stories. 
when I was little, my light dimmed, hang on. There was all kinds of stories. You know, the three little bears. And I know there's books of those, but this is the stories that was always told to me. Three little bears, three little pigs. And then, um, there was a few, like, scary type stories that I remember. I don't know why, because I was a kid. You know, I don't know why someone would want to tell a scary story to a kid. But, one was called, uh, now let me see if I can remember the name of them. Uh, I think one was called Drip Drop. Becky, do you remember that one? Um, and, uh, and the drip drop was blood dripping under a bed from something, the dog's head or something being hung under the bed, you know? So I can't remember now the whole story thing. Oh, I just had a pain. Anyway, so all, I remember all kinds of stories as a kid being told to me. So, then I would, you know, tell them, me and my friends would tell them back and forth to each other and stuff. Well, I remember this one story. I don't remember every bit of it, and I want to so bad. My Aunt Irene, my mama's sister, one of her sisters, used to tell me this story all the time. I don't, she's done gone now, so I can't ask her, you know. Um, I don't remember all of it. I don't remember if my Aunt Irene made it up. I don't know where she heard it from or got it from. If it is a, a real story that, you know, back in the olden days, people, you know, brought down in time. I would love to be able to find it if it is, you know, if it's printed out somewhere, I would love to be able to find that story and read the whole thing and know it all again. It was called The Glass Dress. Something about this girl, her daddy bought her a glass dress and she kept breaking it over and over and he kept buying her a glass dress. And finally, the last time she broke it, he wouldn't buy her another one or something. But that's all I can remember about it. I cannot remember the rest of it, you know, or what was the point or the moral if it had one. How many of y'all have had stories told to y'all as a kid and told stories as a kid or has told stories as a grown-up, the stories that you heard as a kid to maybe your kids and grandkids? How many of y'all out there has ever heard of that story, The Glass Dress? <clears throat> and remembers it today? Please let me know, because I really want to know that whole story again. I think about that story all the time. That was my favorite story, I believe. If anybody out there knows about the story, The Glass Dress, please let me know. You know, comment me and tell me the whole story or instant, uh, PM me, whatever you want to call it, the whole story. Or I'll give you my email and you write me a letter telling me the whole story. Or, excuse me, if you know of a website somewhere where the whole story would be printed out or something, send me the link to it. I want to know that whole story again. <laughs> Please let me know. I'm excited to hear what I'm afraid all of y'all's going to say. I ain't never heard of that story. <laughs> I want to know that story again so bad. Okay. <clears throat> so. That's all I got for you for right now. I'll be making videos later, but I'm going to put them up separately like this. See, we're already at nine minutes and something. So, I'll just put them up separately. It'll be easier and shorter. Oh. <sighs> Sorry for yawning. So, until the next one. Toodaloo.